one of the things that we're doing to close the achievement gap is just refusing to to buy into the notion that urban schools need to perform at a lower level than suburban schools and our kids are just as talented, our teachers are just as talented, and given the proper resources, we feel we can outperform most any school. There's no reason that your oldest, most historic, biggest downtown neighborhood should have a failing school, and there's, there's no reason that the neighborhood as a whole should be ignored. What really changed for us was two years ago when John Romeo joined, and he, he really led us down the path of data, teams, and being a team looking that when a child leaves the fifth grade at McDonough that they're competitive with the children from the other seven elementary schools in Middletown. Everything we do, all the decisions we make now are based on data that we've collected. They're in tune with what she's interested in and where she needs work. I want to teach at a school where everybody's working as hard as I'm working and you don't have any choice here. You either work hard or you need to leave because that's the bar that we set. And at McDonough School, instruction matters the most. And in terms of me scheduling my day or interacting with the staff, they understand that instruction matters most. And, and, and that's how we try to do business here. I'm a strong believer in that it takes a village to raise a child. And this is my family, my village. The parents, again, that have connections with our school on that initial level that feel welcome here can come to us for help. And we have so many connections that we can help parents when they're dealing with, with those kinds of tough situations and ultimately it helps the kids. If we, can, if we can support parents and we can support families, it's going to help kids achieve at higher levels. It really is the cornerstone of the neighborhood. There are a lot of families here and it's the anchor of families. If you go outside after school, most likely you're going to run into one of your former students or even your students that you had during the day and you can say, did you do your homework and you know stuff like that. So I think it's just that climate, that community climate. And when we got here, it was just such, you know, you know, just love and family and, you know, what were my children's needs, what were my needs, you know, um, introducing me to not only the school but to the community. We want our families to succeed. Um, this is a, a low-income neighborhood and doesn't have the same resources that um, the rest of the city um, and most people in the state. Given that, we want this to be a really successful school for the students who are attending here. That bleeds into the families. It's great leadership development. I mean, the list sort of goes on and on. You've got to get to know them, and you've got to make them know that, that you care about them, that you trust them. This has to be their safe place. And for many of our kids, this is their routine, this is their safe place. This I can remember teachers that I've had that have impacted me, and I know how, um, how much that made a difference in my life, and I hope that I can do the same for the kids that I teach.